Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from a fellow boater that's got a windlass and a thruster. So Pete asks, what about feeding the windlass from the bow thruster battery bank? Interesting question. And not crazy, because ask yourself this. If you've got a windlass up front and you already have a thruster battery bank there, why would you take your windlass and run it by the house battery bank that might be 20, 30, or 40 feet away by the time you run that cable? So in a lot of situations, what we end up doing is we end up doing exactly as Pete is asking. We're actually going to run the windlass directly from the thruster battery bank because what are the chances or odds of actually running a windlass and a thruster at the same time? And what that allows is it saves a lot of cabling and weight and money from having to run large cables going back to the house battery bank. You'll want to make sure, of course, that your thruster battery can get a charge from the alternator while underway. Right? That would be pretty key so that when you start your engine, your windlass, and you're running your windlass, the alternator is offsetting the large amperage load happening at the thruster battery bank. But yes, if I had a thruster battery bank up front on the bow and there was a windlass nearby, I would definitely connect my windlass to the thruster battery bank. So that Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill up one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad-free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. That way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.